Hey guys, how have you guys been? What's good? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Jimmy Adelisi. And for those of you that this is your second time, you returning subscribers, returning watchers, returning viewers, boop, 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 all joy. Thank you so much for coming back. You deserve love, you deserve kisses. So in this video, I just wanted to just do a quick chit chat on things that I'm learning, things I'm currently working on to improve my life and improve my sanity. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So before I start, I wrote a list of the things that I wanted to talk about today, so I wouldn't forget them. But I'm just going to just be talking about six things that I'm currently learning. And the first thing I'm currently learning is that no is a full sentence. The word no is complete, that I don't need to say no and, I don't need to say no but, I don't need to say no because that the word no is a full sentence and it can be used anytime, any day. Like I need to, I'm currently learning that I need to include the word no into my vocabulary and into my dictionary. Now, as a recovering people pleaser and somebody that finds it hard to believe that people might not like me, I always find it hard to say no. And at the end of the day, it's always like it always takes a turn on my health and on my time. Because like I find it hard to say no to people that, oh maybe because oh I'm very busy. Or I just like I just basically find it hard to say no to people. And because I've been struggling with that, that has been affecting my sanity, that has been affecting my time because I've been taking on things that, too much of things to fill up my space and to fill up my time. And I mean, like, at the end of the day, you cannot just be there for everybody every time. So, yeah, but just for me, letting that know is something that I can say to people. I don't need to over explain why I'm saying no, I don't need to over explain my reasons. Like, no is enough. And if people don't respect that no that I've said, then they can just use the door and just depart on my life. Flowing from the first thing that I'm learning, I'm also learning that nobody's coming to beat me. Legit. <laughs> I know that some of you might find this thing hard to believe. But you know that as a child, it's just very easy for you to just lie, to just get out of trouble. It's just easy for you to just act a certain way, just conform to the rules and the regulations in a certain place to avoid being punished or being flogged and type of things, right? But I'm currently learning that I'm the adult in my life now. Like, whatever I decide in my life stays. Like, I'm the one that makes the rules, I'm the one that makes the regulations, I'm the one that calls the shots in my life, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. So, if I come and say no, like I just said in, in the beginning, there's nothing anybody can do about it. If I say, you know what, this doesn't work for me, and I want to change this, like, nobody's going to come and beat me if I decide to uproot myself and uproot my life and just say, you know what, I'm going, I'm doing a 180 in my life, or I'm doing like, and it's a meeting fast or whatever I decide to do in my life. Like legit, look, it's nobody's business. Like as far as I'm not an sort of party, as far as I'm just acting according to the rules and the laws of the country, like it's literally nobody's business. And like nobody's coming to beat me. And I'm, I know that this thing might sound so easy to people, like obviously told me nobody's coming to beat you, but it's something that I'm still struggling to learn. Like let me give you guys a quick example. So last week I was at my friend's place, right? And I was helping her to like reheat the chicken that she cooked and I forgot it on the gas and one thing led to the other, one chicken bones. So usually I'm like PTSD of my mommy coming to deck me or like give me slap for burning the chicken. I said it's eat that bone chicken and that bone chicken tasted so bitter because I knew it was burnt. And at the end of the day, I just started thinking like nobody was going to check me like okay you burnt chicken and so like i burnt it and i'm sorry it was a mistake everybody makes mistakes and i don't know but it's just really interesting for me to just learn and i think it's something that i'm currently like trying to tell myself every day that you know what mistakes happen and you learn from it and that's all about that and i mean that leads me to my third thing that i'm currently learning which is that mistakes happen and that i should just be kind to myself now as a recovering high achiever, I achiever also. I mean, I'm recovering from a lot of things. But as a recovering high achiever, like, it's always easy for me to bring myself down. And it had always been easy for me to yell at myself and to just be negative. Like, when I don't hit or smash the goals that I've set for myself or the expectations that I've set for myself. And believe you me, I, I've had, like, high expectations for myself. Like, insanely high expectations for myself, right? And I'm just gonna be learning that sometimes, like, I might not hit those expectations, I might not um, smash those goals that I've set for myself. And they're like, that's like it's, like, it's not that bad. Like, it's really not that deep at the end of the day. Like, if I don't hit this goal, that's fine. I mean, I can always hit another goal, or I can always focus on another thing. Or 
if I don't hit these goals, that, okay, that's cool. But I mean, I hit some other goals. Like, I'm just trying to think about getting a positive mindset about the entire situation. Because, because one thing I'm also currently learning is that a huge part of the battles that I'm going to fight in life, or a huge part of the battles I have to face in life, they are inside here, right? Like. A lot of the battles I'm going to face in this life that here, like legit battlefield of the mind, right? And for me to win these battles, for me to win at life, and for me to win in life, rather, I have to have like, a positive mindset. And that's something that I'm currently learning. And I, and I feel like that's something that if you're watching this video, you don't have. I think it's something that you you should try to learn and try to cultivate, like having a positive mindset. Now I'm not saying toxic positivity that like you try to see the good out of everything and you try to bring up stories and start making LinkedIn posts and Facebook posts about things, you know, that's not what I'm saying. I mean, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you have to take out less things from everything that happens to you. That's not what I'm saying. Sometimes things happen, they just happen, like, they just happen. There might not be a reason for why these things are happening. So sometimes things just happen and they suck. And sometimes things suck, they suck point black period there's no need for you to sugarcoat or anything but what i'm saying is that i'm just going to learn to try to see the good out of situations and try to just be positive about things that if something happened today that doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow right it's just trying to be positive trying to have this uplifting spirit uplifting mentality when it comes to me facing things and i noticed that having a positive mindset would also help me to build that tenacity and grit that i need to go through life right having a positive mindset will help me understand that it's a bad day not a bad life and that is something else that i'm currently learning i'm currently learning that okay because I had a bad Wednesday or because I had a bad Thursday, it does not mean that my life is bad. It does not mean that everything that I have going on for me sucks. I mean, I'm just having a bad morning or I just had a bad afternoon or some sort. I, I mean, we go again tomorrow. Like, it's not like I said, you know, because I had a bad day or I had a bad morning or I had a bad afternoon. I just came up from like a horrible meeting. That means that my life sucks and everything around me sucks and all. No, I'm just currently learning that. At the end of the day, a bad day is just what it is. A bad day, that doesn't mean it's a bad life. So the second to the last thing I'm currently learning is that as a human being, I need savings. Now, I have pretty high standards and I have high taste and I like some things that are very luxurious. I do really like some things that, I mean, the prices be shaking me and freaking me out here. Yeah. But one thing I've just currently learned, so one thing that I'm currently trying to learn is that at all, at all, I need to have savings. Like, at all, at all, last that there needs to be emergency savings. I need to have money stashed away somewhere for emergencies. I need to have money stashed away somewhere for project savings. I need to have money stashed away somewhere for the future. Now, this is something that I'm currently struggling with because I mean, I'm coming from a place where my parents were able to foot my bills. My parents were able to give me everything and anything that I asked for and that I needed, right? But I'm currently learning that as an adult, I need to be responsible for my money. I need to be responsible for my finances that I need to be able to save up money to achieve most of these projects, most of these goals that I've set for myself and that I've set for my life. And I think just currently trying to change, I'm currently trying to learn that, you know, that mindset of money is a tool, money is a means to an end. And that's what I need to do with that. And for me to be able to accomplish all these projects, I need the tool called money. And for me to have money to accomplish this project, I need to save and I need to be responsible for my finances. And I would like to you guys, that is something is this is becoming like a chore for me. I mean, like, like trying to learn, trying to save money is just becoming like a chore. But God help me, think that's cursed. Your girl is going to start building my savings. Let the church say now, amen. Amen. The last thing I'm currently learning right now is the need for structure and routine. Now, if you're a spontaneous person, if you act on impulse like me, you would understand that. You will know that a lot of times we just do things based on our feelings, based on our emotions. Like, we just do things if we're feeling motivated on, and stuff like that. And I'm currently learning that as an adult, like, that's not how life works. Like, if I want to become the person that I want to become, I have to have structure. I have to have routine because, like, structure helps me to know what needs to be done, what needs not to be done. Structures help me to know my priorities. Structures help me to know how far I can accomplish things. Structures help me to know my pros, my cons, my strengths, my weaknesses when it comes to like, accomplishing things. And I wouldn't lie to you, building a structure is kind of 
tedious it's kind of boring it's kind of hard because like it's just like a couple of try and error try and error for me to move from here to here which is growth which is stability i need structure and routine to move to this place now i won't lie to you it has been a chore <laughs> and it has not been easy for me because i like to act on impulse i just like to do things and just but one thing i'm just currently learning is that even though they're like trial and error trial and error progress over perfection now as a beginner in any new field in any new skill in any career is a tendency for us to look at the professionals and the people that are best than the one percent of the one percent in their career or in that field and compare ourselves to those people right but one thing i've come to just realize is that it's better for me to just start where I am, right? It's better for me to just start, keep on showing up every day, every day, every day. And with showing up every day, every day, every day, I will definitely find my voice. With showing up every day, every day, I will definitely find my footing. I will definitely go towards that perfection that I'm seeking. And I can never attain that level of perfection that I so desire and that I so obsess over if I don't start, which is progress. So progress leads to the perfection so at every given time all i need to chase is progress all i need to chase is showing up all i need to chase is doing things a little bit better than i did things yesterday i have to ask myself every day am i better than yesterday is my today's video better than yesterday's video with chasing progress perfection will come so yeah that's not about that so Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it worthwhile. I hope you learned one or two things. I hope you took one or two things that you could invite into your life and you could just like put into your routine. Um, let me know the things that you're currently learning. Let me know the things you're currently working on. And then thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.